Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Google Analytics to T Public in 2024. So if you're selling as example products on T Public, connecting Google Analytics is crucial for tracking traffic, understanding user behavior, and optimizing your sales. So I'll walk you basically through the steps to integrate Google Analytics with your T Public account. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video, and simply, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end, so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave, for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically, go and open both analytics, so analytics.google.com. And secondly, you will need to open T public dot com and hit the enter button so as you can see you'll find yourself in the t public right away make sure to log in into your account if you have an account if you don't have an account make sure to go and create a new one the same of course basically will be for uh, google analytics as you can see google analytics will use a google account so if you're not logged in into a google account they'll ask you to uh, as you can see so let just go and show you in here but if you already like logged in into a google account as you can see you will find yourself right away in here so for t public let me just go here and create an account because as an example i don't have an account and as you can see you can use a facebook account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging in your account but for me i'll just do it the normal way as an example so i'll just go here and add my first name my last name as an example and my email address why not well, let me just use that instead which is my first why not at gmail.com the country of course make sure to add it then your password and as you can see your password must be from 8 to 128 it should include at least one number it should include one uppercase one lowercase and one special character so let me just go and do all the following and let me just go and confirm that password yeah, this should contain it. Of course, you can also, if you would like to receive like advertising product, make sure to check this button. It's not necessary. So for me, I'm not going to do it. Then I'll just go here and click on create my account. As you can see, haven't received your verification email, please enter your uh, email again in here. But if you receive it, you don't have to. So for me, I'll just go to my Gmail or which is email provider for me, T public right here. Uh, no, please confirm your email address. This is what I want and activate now i can just go and close those two now and click on leave yeah so i should be logged in into my account without any problems so i can just go now and click on login and as you can see i'll have to fill up my credentials then click on login and as you can see sign in successfully so as we said we want now to confirm or to connect like your uh, google analytics with your t public so basically if you go now to your shop as an example you'll be able to see your shops and etc you'll be able to shop all the design of course you'll be able to see your accounts or everything about that as an example so in here as an example if you go and click on sell your arts you'll be able to single file upload or multi file upload if you want to upload of course your design search this is what you'll need to do first so you'll have to put a store name as an example so uh, already in use, so I'll just go and add zero. Okay, it's available. So take me to the uploader. As an example, I'll just upload something random here, even if it's not a t shirt or whatever it is. I'll just go and click on upload. So I can simply have a URL because, as an example, uh, Google Analytics, you'll have to connect to the URL. So you'll have to, of course, to connect it to web. So normally you'll have to go to web. Once you go to web here, you'll have to basically enter your URL and give it a name. As simple as that. So it's going to be simple. For example, in here, you can just give it a title. So tests, main tag, uh, tests, as an example. So testing, why not? Description, just like testing. Supported tags, I'm not going to add. I don't think it's mandatory. So that the design contain major content such as nudity and other, no. And yeah, just let anything as it is. And then click, I have read that and click on publish. Okay, so it seems like I must fill up all of that. So I'll just go and fill up those those stuff in here. Yeah, it seems good to go now, right? I'll just go and click on publish. You must choose at least one secondary, like, okay, what is a secondary what? So it should be, 
Uh, wait, let me just go and check again what they asked for. Secondary tag. Oh, okay. So they need another tag. So I don't know. I'll just go here and add like a t shirt, t shirt design. After that, like tests. So tag with a search for, yeah, I guess this is good, right? Or I can even add like a test in here. Yeah, why not even add like tests? So is this good now? Yeah, it's good. So I'll just go here and click on publish. As you can see, it's published. Now it will show you how this looks like as an example on the t-shirts and everything in here. And yeah, now basically people can go here and add it to card and etc. You can also manage it if you want to as an example. You can go always to account and see like as an example, if you my store in here. So once you click on view my store, as you can see, this is going to be basically uh, the store. So, and as you can see, once you go to your store, of course, it's good to put like some uh, some pictures in there, like example, cover letter and logo and etc. You can edit the store as example, and you can even share the store. So once you click on share the store as example, you'll find this link of the store. As an example, use this custom link to share a link to track how much traffic you drive. This is what we want. So I'll just go and copy that, go to analytics, paste that in here. I'll just name it like T public. And it should be good to go. Of course, I don't need to include this HTTP. Uh, it was HTTP, so I'll just change it to HTTP in here and click on create and continue. So what you will need to do now, once you did this, as you can see, you'll find your T public here. So as you can see, no data received in 24 hours or 80 uh, or 48 hours. So basically what you need to do, either you'll have to wait until it's installed, of course, or so as you can see in here, you'll find like everything that you know. Of course, you can see the instructions now how to basically do the rest. So you either have to install it manually by adding this as example, I guess, to the header, yeah, to the head or and test after words your website or simply inst install it with a website builder or CMS and you can simply look for your thing in here so you can scan it and look for a uh, T public in here but I don't think you'll find it so it's better to install it manually just finish installing it manually and put this in your header and you should be good to go so that's basically gonna be it for me today thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next video so goodbye